Good morning, everybody. Wes Davis here. Welcome back to another video. I am here in the wonderful city of Taichung, Taiwan. And if you have read the title of this video, you will know that I actually used to live in this city, in Taichung, way back in 2009. So I decided to take a day, come up to Taichung, and explore some of the old neighborhoods that I used to explore way back in the day, retread on my old stamping grounds, and bring you all along with me as I figure out what has changed in Taichung and what has stayed the same. So join me on this journey as I take a trip back through memory lane and experience what Taichung is here in 2023 compared to 2009. Let's go. So the first thing that is quite obvious to me, one of the major changes in Taichung so far that I've seen is right here. This is the old Taichung train station. Now this whole area of the city is completely transformed from what it used to be. So this actually used to be the functioning train station here in Taichung. It is no longer functioning. It is a museum now from what I can tell. They have put all new concrete here. They've renovated this whole part of the city and this is why. This is the newly constructed Taichung train and bus station. I mean, as you can see, this used to be one of the old traditional train stations in Taiwan, and now everything all around the island seems to be transforming into these kind of metal and glass, really modern looking buildings. So yeah, really, really interesting to see. Just from my time back in 2009, I spent countless, countless hours at this train station, waiting for trains, picking people up, going on trips, and now it is nothing but a relic, an old memory. And I think maybe they are transforming it, renovating it into some kind of museum. Uh, I can't believe I'm actually standing in here. I haven't been here in 14 years, this is crazy. Yeah, these actually used to be what the train tickets used to look like. I haven't seen anything like this for a really long time. Wow, and it's really amazing to see they've actually left up the old time board where you could see when your train was departing, which train tracks, train numbers, everything has been still preserved up here. Wow, kind of amazing that I can just walk through here without giving them any tickets. That's a very strange feeling to me. So these are the old tracks, and looks like they've preserved one or two of the old trains as well. Obviously, these tracks are no longer in use because they have built a massive new rail line uh, that has been elevated up above the city. Taiwan is just becoming more and more modern as the years go by. I can't believe I'm standing here. I, I, I must have stood in this exact same spot 50 times back in 2009. Amazing. The years, they come and go, and people come and go, and memories that we have fade away into the background. Now I'm being all sentimental. But it's just super, super interesting being here today. And it just feels like I'm walking through a park now to think of all the people and the stories that have taken place on this platform over the, the decades. Unbelievable. Continuing to explore the back streets here of kind of my old neighborhood. And this is a very, very famous bakery here in Taichung made famous a long, long time ago for its very simple and very inexpensive ham and cheese sandwiches. So it doesn't look like much. It's just, as I said, white bread, cheese, and ham. But I think it was probably popular due to the fact that, as I said, it is just very simple and very affordable. So let's give that a big old bite. Mm, that's really nice. It's just so interesting walking around these little back streets, back alleys, and just thinking about the fact that I was here 14 years ago in this very same spot. Places like this, honestly, not much has changed at all. Pretty sure it used to look exactly like this back in 2009. Places like this in Taiwan, I can't really picture them changing that much, no matter how many years go by. I remember this used to be one of my favorite little areas of Taichung, just across from the train station. You've got all these little, I would say, canals. Actually, I think back in the day they used to refer to Taichung as the canal city of Taiwan. And compared to before, I swear it feels more green. I seem to remember it being a little bit more cement looking, 
more industrial. I know Taiwan does have a reputation sometimes of not having the best looking cities, but from what I can see, they are doing a lot of hard work to correct that. Here we are in the beautiful Taijong Park. And this is pretty close to my old neighborhood, maybe five or eight minute scooter ride away. And this is probably one of the most iconic buildings in all of Taijong. This kind of beautiful, almost temple-like building in the middle of Taijong Lake here. I would often come here, maybe before work, and take a little stroll, relax. It is such a nice, big, beautiful park. For those of you living in Taiwan, of course, you will know this. And if you are not from Taichung, this would be definitely on your list of places to come visit. So these are the old neighborhoods that used to be surrounding the train station. So it's obviously old buildings and traditional markets like this that were demolished to make way for all of the new construction, which would become the new Taichung train station. So I'm happy that they have left some of it here, but for sure this whole area used to be filled with just old ancient stalls like this. And now it's either become the new Taijong train station or it's become parking lots like you can see right ahead of me. So this place right here, Starfruit Juice, this is the first time I ever had starfruit juice. Probably one of the first and only times I've had starfruit juice because I remember not liking it very much. But I do remember this shop, it had these exact same plastic starfruits. Pretty sure they haven't changed in 14 years. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna try some starfruit juice today. All right, closing the 14 year starfruit juice loop. Mm. It's refreshing, it's cold. Uh, obviously, this guy's been around for at least 14 years, probably much longer. So, I give this a big thumbs up. So, we are officially heading back into my old neighborhood, Taichung Road and Mi'ijia, which is back here somewhere. And I really loved living in this little area because I was kind of fresh and new to Taiwan at the time. And to me, all of this seemed pretty fantastic. Things I had definitely never ever seen before when I was living in Canada. You know, every day I would walk out here and see things like this, shops and things to buy that I didn't even know what they were at the time. So what they call this is the Taijong Third Market. So we are getting closer to my house here. And I really loved coming in here in the summertime, especially because as you can see, they've covered the entire market which it really does help to cool this area down a little bit uh, this alley here this was famous for I guess massages and things like that beauty care foot massages uh, whatever you want manicures pedicures and then yeah it actually looks a little bit closed up right now we're later in the afternoon but in the morning certainly this is a very bustling place Alright, here we go. Welcome to Zhongxiao Night Market Street. So it was really, really convenient just living around the corner, coming out and seeing the chaos here of the Zhongxiao Night Market Street. And this was my local watermelon juice shop. For some reason in Canada, I don't remember ever drinking watermelon juice, but it's so easy to make and it's so delicious. I remember back in 2009, it was 10 NT to get eBay. And now it looks like, okay, between 25 and 45, depending on the size you get. So prices have gone up, but I'm happy to see that the watermelon juice stand is still here 14 years later. Yeah. Yao, eBay, she guanze. Dada.
was just driving over to Ijeongja when I passed this restaurant. And this restaurant used to be one of my absolute favorites when I lived just around the corner down the street. So I would come here and, you know, their menu says lamb rice roll, chicken rice roll, smoked duck rice roll. And then one time I brought my friend who can read Chinese more than I can. He said, huh, Wes, I didn't realize you liked vegetarian food that much. I said, oh no, man, it's not vegetarian. He said, oh yes, it is. It's all fake meat. And I was just blown away because for months I thought I was literally eating real meat. That's how good this place is. haven't had the privilege of trying this in a really, really long time. And this was only 50 NT. I was looking at the menu and I swear those prices are the same as they were 14 years ago. So kudos to them. Great food, great prices. Mm. So good. Great food, great prices and very friendly. She just gave me a little bowl of grapes. So friendly. I wonder if they recognize me. I've, I'm a little bigger than I used to be. At this point, we head over to Ijeongje, which is an extremely popular place in Taichung, especially for young, fashionable, dare I say, cool people. And my main goal here was to try to figure out if the G Pie, the chicken steak restaurant that we used to frequent back in 2009 was still there. And yep, there it is. The exact same stall. And back then we used to get them for 50 NT. Now they are whopping 90 NT for the same chicken steak. However, I was pleasantly surprised to see that it was the exact same high quality, delicious G Pie that I always remembered. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching as usual. And I will talk to you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.